In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the timeline of buying a house. Now, not how long it will take you to find your house because that's going to be person to person, but how long the process takes from when you go under contract to when you get your keys at closing. So continue watching to learn more. The typical timeline from when your offer is accepted to closing day is usually anywhere between 30 and 60 days. 30 days being a quicker close, 60 days being a slightly longer close, and I would say 45 days is definitely average. Now this time period is negotiable between you and the seller. However, let's say the house is vacant. Well, presumably the seller wants a quicker close because they have carrying costs. You know, they're paying a mortgage, homeowner's insurance, taxes, utilities, things like that. So I always think it's best to work with a lender who can accommodate a quicker close, such as 30 days, if needed. Now, the seller of the house that you ultimately go with might need a 90-day close, in which case any lender can do that. But you don't know the house that you're ultimately going to go with. So if you go with a house where the seller needs a 30-day close and you're working with a lender who can only do a 45-day close or longer, you're going to be at a disadvantage in your offer. At the end of the day, most people just want to time up the end of their lease with the beginning of their mortgage so that there isn't any overlap. Okay. Now it's important to note that no matter what time of the month you close, you won't owe your first mortgage payment that month or the following month. It's actually gonna be due the first of the next month. For instance, let's say you close May 3rd or May 12th or maybe even May 22nd. It doesn't matter what time in May, your first mortgage payment will not be due the month of May. It will not be due the month of June. It will actually be due July 1st, which means you can actually maybe buy even sooner than you thought.